What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmies and welcome back to the series on Python. In the last video, we learned about the while loop to repeat a block of code until our test condition is false. In this video, we will look at the for loop which is used to loop over a sequence. So let's get started. Before we look at the working of the for loop, we need to understand about sequences. A sequence is a collection of items in an order. We have already used strings numerous times in our programs. A string is basically a sequence of characters. As you can see in the image, the string python is a sequence of seven characters p, y, t, h, o, and n. Let's look at another type of sequence. This sequence has three items separated by commas and enclosed in square brackets. This sequence is called a list. We will learn about these sequences in detail in the upcoming videos. For now, just remember that a sequence in Python is a collection of items in an order. Now that we know what sequences are, let's get back to our main topic, for loop. The for loop in Python is used to iterate over a sequence and in each iteration, we can access individual items of that sequence. For example, in my code editor, I'll show you. Suppose we have a string like this. Using a for loop, we can access individual items of the string python one by one. Now I'll create a for loop. Here I'll say for character in text, then I'll print the character using our handy print function when I press run, we can see that each character of the string python is printed one by one. Let's see how this program works. During the first iteration of this for loop, the variable character will have the value p, which is the first letter in the text python. And that will be printed to the screen. In the next iteration, the value of y will be stored in the variable character. And when we print character, y is printed to the screen. This goes on until we reach n, after which the for loop exits. By the way, we are seeing each character in a new line because the print function adds a new line at the end of each line by default. Before we move on, I'll add the syntax of the for loop here so that it's easier for me to explain it to you. For each item in sequence, execute the body of the loop. Before moving to the next section of the video, I'd like to mention that the Programmist team has created an app that allows you to learn Python from your phone. The app contains bit-sized lessons that are easy to understand, a built-in interpreter so that you can run Python on your phone, quizzes, and many more features. The app is available on both iOS and Android. The links are in the video description below. Now let's talk about looping through a list. Suppose we have a list of languages like this. Let's use the for loop to iterate through each item of this list one by one. Just like we did in the strings example, I'll say for language in languages print language. Now when I press run, as you can see, all three languages are printed one by one. Let me read out this code in plain English. For each language in the languages list, store that language in the language variable and print it. Now let's move on to Python range function. If you watch the last video of the while loop, we used it to repeat a block of code a certain number of times, like five times and 10 times. Let me give you an example. I'll create a while loop that iterates five times from count equal to one to count equal to five. I'll remove the old code and I'll say count equals one and then I'll say while count less than equals 5, print count, and then I'll increase the value of count, like count equals count plus 1. I'll press run, and as expected, the numbers from 1 to 5 are printed. There's an easier way to write this same program using the for loop. For that, we'll use the range function. Let me give you an example. I'll comment out this old code and then I'll say for count in range 
वन टू सिक्स प्रिंट काउंट दिस रेंज फंक्शन क्रिएट्स अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ नंबर्स फ्रॉम वन टू फाइव इट डजेंट इंक्लूड द लास्ट वैल्यू सिक्स लेट मी रन दिस कोड एंड एज एक्सपेक्टेड इट प्रिंट्स वन टू फाइव रेंज इज अ वेरी यूजफुल फंक्शन वी विल लर्न मोर अबाउट द रेंज फंक्शन इन डिटेल इन अ फ्यूचर वीडियो सो बी श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू डोंट मिस दैट वीडियो लेट्स ट्राई वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द फॉर लूप we will print a multiplication table of a number entered by the user from 1 to 10 let's first take input from the user so i'll say number equals integer input enter and integer since we want to print the multiplication table from 1 to 10 i will create a loop that iterates 10 times from count equal 1 to 10 so here i'll say for count in range 1,11 as we have discussed before 11 will be excluded and this will give me a sequence from 1 to 10 now we need to find the product by multiplying number by count inside the body of the loop so here i'll say product equals number times count now let me use the print function with commas to format the output nicely so i'll say print number comma x or times count equals product when i run it it asks me to enter a number and i'll say something like 9 and when i press enter as you can see the multiplication table is printed in this nice format here count is increased from 1 to 10 and we have calculated the product by multiplying number and count so in the first iteration product will be 9 times 1 which is 9 in the second iteration product will be 9 times 2 and so on before we end this video here's a programming task for you can you create a program to find the sum of numbers from 1 to 100 basically the result should be equal to result equals 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus blah 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 plus 100 if you are a programming beginner you might find this program a touch harder give it a try you can always find the answer to this program in our github repository if you get stuck i will provide the link in the description below before we end this video let me recap the concepts that we have learned loops are used in programming to repeat a block of code a for loop is used to iterate through items of a sequence If you know that a loop needs to run for a certain number of times like 5 times or 10 times it is better to use the for loop instead of the while loop range is a useful function that creates a sequence of numbers it's common to use range in a for loop to iterate the loop a certain number of times that's it for this video i hope you learned something if you're just watching the video without writing any code i highly encourage you to try the programs in this video on your own the only way you can be a good programmer is by trying By the way you can find all the programs from this video on GitHub I provided the link in the description below feel free to copy the programs and edit them as you please and if you have any questions and feedback use the comment section below join me in this video series and let's explore the exciting world of programming together if you like this video hit the like button now and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell icon so that you don't miss the next video in the next video we will learn about the break and continue statement that allow us to alter the flow of loops thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one happy programming